So what we're going to go through here is something called slip or slit editing. I'm not sure what the terminology is, but it's a little bit of an advanced method, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do. go ahead and do it. So first off, you have to download the SWS extensions and right here on the site, I have it linked. You can click on that. So direct download to 32 bit. If you have 64 bit or you want some other install directions, you can go ahead right to these links or to right to their site. So you click on this. It's going to go ahead and start downloading. Click run downloads run again it's gonna open up and agree that's where my Reaper is install and it's done gotta make sure you have Reaper closed for that that's one of the biggest things so now we're gonna download the um, actual macro that we are gonna use that's called um, the gopher Reaper key mapper click on that and we're going to save this one. And I'm gonna navigate right to the Reaper folder. So I'm gonna to go to C drive, program files. Uh, where is it? Reaper, and then key maps. And I have it in here already, but I'll just, you know, I'll just replace this one. Save. So close that. Okay, so now we're doing that. Now we can go ahead and load up Reaper. Now once you're in Reaper, you need to go to Actions, Show Action List, and you'll see under Custom, you'll see Split at Mouse, Cursor, Crossfade into Split. So I have it macroed already to Alt-S, but in order to macro it to Alt-S, you click Add, and in this area here, you're gonna click inside of there, and we're just gonna hold the Alt button and press the S key and then it puts that in the option and press OK. And the next step, I'll tell you why I use Alt S. Now I'll click on close and we're all set. So now that you have your SWS extensions all set up and you have the Gopher uh, re key map set up, what we're gonna do is go ahead with this drum beat and um, make it 100% in time. So what we have to do first, I have you know, have drum a drum track here. This is as if you just tracked a drummer and you did some mild editing. You didn't put it in time yet. Maybe you cut out some toms and you know the drummer is done for the day and the bass player needs to come and lay his tracks, but you want to put it all in time first. So here's how you manually do that with what's called slip editing, which is what I would recommend always using this for. So we're gonna highlight everything, click on the top one, scroll to the bottom, hold shift, click on the bottom one, and we're just gonna press the letter G. See those little symbol pops in here? That means that they're all grouped. So we can just, we don't, now we don't have to have them all selected when we do edits. Let's cinch this up close, and let's just hear what this sounds like. That's just about 20 seconds of it. That's probably about how much we're gonna get through anyway. So let's click on the first beat and zoom in. Let's try to see what he's playing. It looks like he's playing on uh, one and then he's playing on playing on one is like a boom, boom, snap, a boom, boom, snap, a boom, boom, snap. So he's gonna do one and then the um, three sixteenth notes until the one of the next beat. So if you look at this on my custom menus, um, I'm gonna show 16th notes see that right there if you don't have the custom menu set up what you can do is you can right click on the grid right here and then you can change show grid line spacing and change it to whatever you want so I have it on 16th this beats kind of simple so obviously the beat goes with its complexity I'm setting it up so that when I hold alt it goes back and forth and when I push alt s it slices wherever my mouse is Thanks to Gopher. So this is going to the 16th. This is going to this beat right here. Just gonna move that. You just all you do is Alt S and it slices it. And then 
you hold alt and then you click on this and you slide it wherever you want. I'm gonna put it right on this beat here. They're gonna bring this one back, alt S. Now you might say, oh no, well, you know, when you slice it and you move it, everything behind it moves. Well, that's okay, because we're gonna do every beat. And we'd say, oh man, you're just eyeing that. You know, how do you know how far away you are? Well, I'm decent at this right now. So when I eye it, I'm almost always within two to eight milliseconds behind, which is the sweet spot for, for doing this anyway. You don't want to do it right on the grid all the time. This one is a little early. We can move it back a little bit. But I'm trying to make it so the transient is where I want it to hit. So that's uh, that beat there. You should be paying attention to your kick drums, your snare drums, hi-hats, when the toms are actually played, the toms, and then uh, overheads you've got. So just you gotta make sure you take everything into account. Make sure you do it, you know, a couple edits at a time and then listen to it. So after this cup, this one right here, I'll probably listen to it, make sure it sounds right. So let's zoom out, let's play from here. Now as I'm doing this, you might think, well, you're not stretching it, you're not quantizing it, so what are you actually doing? Well, what I'm actually doing is Reaper has this awesome feature of being able to move your audio within your region. What does that mean? That means that I'm not doing any kind of weird crossfades that are unnecessary, like uh, Beat Detective would, or even the automatic thing in Reaper. What I'm actually doing is I'm cutting that there and I'm actually moving the audio, full audio piece over here. So why is this so good? Let me tell you why it's so good. Just one sec. After this beat, let's listen to it all. So I just did, you know, about 10 seconds there and not too much longer than that. So you hear a little bit of artifacts here and there, you can go through and clean them up uh, later on, but definitely nothing worse than you'd hear if you're using uh, something like Beat Detective or the auto uh, quantizing unit. So what you're doing is Alt S, holding Alt down still, clicking and moving, then holding Alt down still and rolling your mouse wheel, Alt S, holding down click and moving while you're still holding Alt. Alt S here, clicking and moving, rolling with your mouse wheel. So that's all for now. That's um, that's slip editing. This is tutorials for Reaper. I am Johnny from Red Sneaker Records.